Today is the <coughs> today is the golden jubilee of the marriage of Gabriel and Maria Dussel. Thanksgiving Mass to Our Lady of Remedies. We also join the Universal Church as we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. Entrance Antiphon, Man of Galilee, why gaze in wonder at the heavens? This Jesus, whom you saw ascending into heaven, will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Please be seated. The Ascension celebrates the return of the Lord Jesus to heaven. With the Ascension, the earthly mission of Jesus is complete, and Jesus passes on the mantle to his disciples. The Ascension, taking place 40 days after his resurrection, is a tradition preserved by Luke in the Acts of the Apostles. Luke himself and his gospel with an account of the ascension taking place on the day of the resurrection itself. During the 40 days, Jesus appears repeatedly to his disciples to strengthen them in their faith and to motivate them for their future mission. Once strengthened by the Holy Spirit, the disciples carry on with the task of proclaiming the good news. This is a task that is entrusted also to us. Are we ready to be witnesses of the Lord Jesus? If we will be seated for a little longer introduction, we also will be stand for the brothers and sisters in the risen Lord. We join the Universal Church in celebrating the Feast of the Ascension of Jesus into Heaven as we have just heard in the introduction. But we are also gathered here as a family to celebrate 50 golden and glorious years of married life of man and self. Keeping in tradition of the tribal world, the tribal community, whenever the tribal community gather for a celebration, be it a feast of Holy Dureti or Diwali or any other feast of the village or the community, they begin the celebration not exactly with mourning but remembering the ancestors. So this morning when we are gathered here to celebrate 50 years, glorious and golden years of married life between Sel and Man, I wish to go into a few members of our family who are not present here. To begin with Sel, I have met and I remember Sel's mother and father, Agnel and uh, Anu, Anna Rosa, yes. So that is the parents of Sel. Of course, we remember, or I wish to remember very specially, Sel's sister, that is Lourdes and Man Thomas, and another brother whom we just lost in the person of Pia and June. So a few members of Sel's family coming to. Gabriel's family to my family. Of course, we have to remember Avo and Ajing, Antonio and Adelaide. 
And when we remember Antonio and, Antonio and other life, we go straight, or I would like to go straight to Pepting. Today, Pepting and Fanka and Martin celebrate their 45 years of married life. Of course, Pepting from above and all these people who have left us and gone and are already in heaven, they are without, with their prayers and with their blessings. Now, proceeding a little more, I would like to come to Man and Seo. Gabriel was my sir and Seo also my teacher. The little Portuguese I can manage is because of the two of them. And plenty to thank them, plenty to thank. As the youngest member of the Gabriel's family, only gratitude. Yes, and today is a day to thank all those who are involved, who are involved with our life. And as we thank each other, we thank the Lord, today is also a day to invoke God's blessings. And the good Lord, who is a loving, living and forgiving God, is always ready to shower plenty of blessings. Just one word of appreciation and gratitude uh, to Gabriel and Seo. We have got our old house, the ancestral home, and of course now many others, new homes have come around our ancestral home. Literally, if that ancestral home, that house, that building is erect and in good condition, it's because, mainly because of the two of them. And that shows their love, their concern, to some, ex uh, to some extent their anxiety. And that is why that building, that ancestral home is there to remind me, all of us, about the glorious Gaddis family and of course the Rona family and the others. So this will be the introduction, a short homily, a little later. But now, to, ce to celebrate this Eucharist, we want to thank once again the Triune God, who is our Father, who is our Mother, the Risen Lord, and of course the Holy Family. And as we thank and praise God, we also wish that all our prayers, our wishes, go to heaven and bring down plentiful blessings. To receive these blessings, we acknowledge our faults, our failures, our limitations, and we say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made this sin. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. He was lifted up while they looked on. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and thought from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the Apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For forty days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is. He had said, What have you heard me speak about? John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now every man together, they asked him, Lord, as the time comes, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or days that the Father has decided by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said 
terrace, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven, the same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let your response be. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. Please speak. The Lord goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. All people clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord is most high. He must clear. Great king over all the earth. Your response? God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our king. Sing praise. Your response? God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on its own throne. Your response? God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the world of spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one spirit, just as you were or called into one, and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, over all, through all, and within all. Each one of us, however, has been given its own share of grace, given as Christ allotted. It was said that he would, when he ascended to the height, he captured prisoners, he gave gifts to men. When it says he ascended, what can it mean? If not that he descended right down to the lower regions of the earth. The one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things in none other than the one who descended. And to some his gift was that they could be apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God, until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ and so. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah. 
examples is giving us and the feast is be co-creators in marriage the good lord who is the creator of the universe who has created you and me to our parents has also given this responsibility in marriage to every couple to be co-creators and as we have heard in the gospel and in the readings co-creators mean to spread the good news to give Jesus to the world and we, when we give Jesus to the world first we have to become another Jesus and to become another Jesus to become co-creators is not only creating love and friendship but it is creating love, life, family, hope now with this few thoughts in mind now we are going to proceed with the renovation of the marital vows and also the blessing. Senhor, a nossa gratidão, pelo modo que fizemos e 
pelo bem que deixamos de fazer e pedimos perdão. Os momentos de alegria e felicidade, bem como os de sacrifício, luta e dor que oferecemos, Senhor. Para todos que nos ajudaram ao longo destes anos e em especial, por aqueles que hoje nos quiseram acompanhar, o teu amor pedimos, Senhor. Para as nossas filhas, de amor particular, a tua bênção e a tua graça, sobre o que não soubemos transmitir, a ti e a tua mãe as confiamos. Por ela e porque de ti recebemos com toda a nossa alma. Obrigado, Senhor. Neste momento diante de ti, das nossas vidas, do nosso irmão celebrado, Padre Brandir, Ministro de Deus, dos nossos irmãos, dos nossos parentes e amigos, reclamamos as promessas da fidelidade e de amor que um ao outro fizemos há 50 anos. Voltemos também os olhos para a mansão de Jesus e lembremos dos nossos filhos. Pai, Meu pai, Antônio e minha mãe, Santa Rosa. Meus pais, Ana Rosa e Amém, para abençoar e juntar em espírito nesta nossa renovação. Abençoe, Senhor, a renovação desta Senhor nosso Deus, na presença renovo o amor do Pai, exclusivo e perfeito, a esposa Maria do Céu, que me deixe, e vos convido com a vossa graça, viver com ela em muita doação de amor sobre o vosso lugar. Senhor nosso Deus, na vossa presença, renovo o meu amor ao esposo da minha, que me deixe e prometo ajudar pela vossa graça, continuar e dedicando com ele o nosso lar de chá. Ó oh Deus de nossos pais, pela mim sobre vós. A sua bênção e nos faça crescer cada vez mais no amor e na alegria da fidelidade. Pensam das alianças. Maria do Céu e Gabriel, dispostos com a palavra do Senhor, recordam o momento vivido há 50 anos e entregam um ao outro o anel dourado das suas bodas de ouro. Senhor Deus, fonte da vida, um dia abençoaste estas alianças de vossos filhos, Maria do Céu e Gabriel, símbolo do seu amor mútuo, consagrado no sacramento do matrimônio. Renovai hoje esta bênção e concedei a todos esses 50 anos de matrimônio, prosseguir sua vida de amor, dedicação, trabalho e honestidade, para que mereçam desfrutar da felicidade que amanhão, junto da família que lhe deixe construir, por nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo, a letra do décimo grafite, preparado para o ministro, trabalho na mente da Marisha Figuara, 
अभिनीतियों में मार्शल बादा अभिनीति प्रेम अनेक बादारी में प्रतीक्ष आज लंदन आप पच्चीस पचास परस पूरा करता गाबियर अनेक सेव सेव अनेक गाबियर पूरी एक बार एक जाने अभिनीति प्रयास से तुम्हारा प्रेम की बंधाई जैसे अनेक लंदन आप कूट बंधन में टेम्पल टेम्पल में ना आकाशदार परिवार है टेम्पल अपने सोच के तरफ आशीर्वाद करो आ पीछे होने तक आशीर्वाद करो सेव अरे आकाश परिवार है गाबरिया अरे ना सोच परिवार है जो ये आजर से जो ये आजर की सब ऊपर तबारों प्रेम पर सभी ने सोच के तरफ आशीर्वाद अरे आनंदित अरे सुरक्षित रहो विवेक स्प्रेड इन द ने
And as we proceed with the offertory and the offertory procession, we recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the on page 82, on page 82.
Friends, brothers and sisters, pray that these our prayers, our gifts, our offerings, also our joys, our sufferings, be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realm, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, Judge of the world and Lord of the host, Jesus ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where Jesus, our head and founder, has gone before us. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Therefore, this gives we pray by sending down your spirit like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, love, and service, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, all the clergy, all the sisters, all the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints, especially Saint Joseph, and all the other saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now once again, as members of the Universal Church, members of one family, let us pray the prayer which Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. It was to be our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let's offer each other the love and the peace of Jesus. Peace with you. Brothers and sisters, the same Jesus who ascended into heaven is coming into our lives this morning in the form of his precious body and blood to bless us, to protect us, to accompany us. Happy are you are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, my Lord, my Lord,
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Of goodness, comprehension, and forgiveness, 
We care for those who understand through faith and means of life. Then we pray and then we need you to do better in our 50 years of married life. Oh God, we want to thank you for sharing in all our hopes, dreams, successes, our failures, our sorrows, and our joys. We are grateful for the fruits of our love, the joys of our family. We thank you for the precious gift of our two loving daughters and mother Mary. For us to love God and His commandments, give us a school education, guided in all the years of our life. May their souls rest in peace in heaven. Finally, we thank Lord Jesus and Mother Mary for our good health, humble wealth, and prosperity bestowed upon us during the 50 years of our married life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Mary. under the guidance of Mr. Paulino Mendoza, 
Janet and their team for their melodious singing. Before we bring down the curtain of our word of thanks to one and all, our deep gratitude for your presence and bravery participation. We thank you and, and may God bless you. May Almighty God bless us for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for us the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. May He grant that as Christ after His resurrection was seen plainly by His disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to us for all eternity. Amen. And may you, who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you, descend upon you, and remain on all.